This is Comblack Customs with a video showing you how to remove the old furniture from your AK in order to install the new furniture that you've received from Comblack Customs. In this video you'll see how to remove the old furniture first and then install the newly finished furniture without damaging the finish. Next we'll want to make sure that the rifle is not loaded. We'll do this by pulling back the bolt carrier to the rear and inspecting the chamber and bolt face. To remove the dust cover we'll simply depress the button or the guide face and the recoil spring and pop the receiver cover off. Now we'll remove the recoil spring along with the bolt carrier and the bolt by simply sliding them to the rear of the receiver and popping them out. Now we'll remove the upper handguard by lifting the locking lever that's attached to the rear sight block. In order to remove the lower handguard, we'll have to remove the uh, lower handguard retainer. This is also referred to as the barrel band. In order to remove the lower handguard retainer, we'll have to lift a small lever that's connected to the lower handguard retainer and move it into the forward position. This will then allow us to slide the lower handguard retainer forward and then remove the wooden lower handguard. Now we'll go ahead and remove the upper handguard from the gas tube itself. Sometimes it's on there a bit tightly so you may need the assistance of a crescent wrench to get some leverage but the key is to firmly press the upper handguard itself against the gas tube as you turn it to remove it and you'll have it so it's rotated completely opposite of the way it was when it was installed so it's upside down and then just with a little bit of effort you can just pop it right off the gas tube itself. If you look at the bottom of the pistol grip you'll see the pistol grip screw which is attached to a pistol grip nut on the inside of the receiver. With just a few turns you'll loosen that and it should pop right off. Now we'll remove the buttstock from the receiver of the rifle by simply using a flathead screwdriver and locating the uh, mounting screws in the buttstock itself and the rear trunnion in the receiver and the tang of the trunnion. We'll then just pull the buttstock from the receiver itself. Now we're going to install the ironwood buttstock into the AK by just simply inserting it into the receiver. In this case the mounting holes have not been drilled for the top of the buttstock so we'll need to take care of that and we'll also need to drill the mounting holes in the rear of the buttstock. In this case I've already done that but you'll have to drill that for your buttstock. We'll go ahead and slide it into the back of the receiver and the, the wooden knuckle in the front of the buttstock is generally a little bit thick so it'll have to be sanded down so in order to fit the receiver you want a little bit of a gap or a spacer between the back of the receiver and the buttstock just like the factory you can see on the one that's been sanded on top where it's been filed down and the new one which hasn't been installed still needs to be filed down now we're going to go ahead and drill the uh, holes for the mounting screws in the rear of the buttstock by just placing the cap or the metal butt plate over the end of the buttstock using a sharpie we'll go ahead and mark those parts that need to be drilled and we'll go ahead and use a drill bit which is a 3 16th inch drill bit for the buttstock and we'll also mark the holes for the sling swivel which uses a 1 8 inch drill bit and we'll mark it the same way with our sharpie and go ahead and take that off and then what we'll do is just insert the, uh, the drill bit into the drill and go ahead and uh, drill the holes here it's best to do it in a vise if you can I didn't have one on hand so uh, just did it freehand and when you're drilling the holes make sure that you don't drill too far otherwise you'll go through the other end of the buttstock Now what we'll do is mark the spots on the top of the buttstock that will need to be drilled through to mount the buttstock into the rear of the receiver through the, uh, the tang in the rear trunnion. This drill bit will be a 3 16 drill bit just like the, uh, the butt plate and we'll mark it with our sharpie and also leave a little bit of a, a gap once we've drilled it between the receiver itself and the buttstock just like they did in the factory to avoid any damage to the buttstock so you don't want to push it all the way into the receiver. You'll see here how the uh, pistol grip screw goes through the bottom of the receiver 
and mounts to the pistol grip nut itself. And an easy way to reinstall it is just to simply with your index finger of your left hand press on the pistol grip nut and then you can see how the pistol grip screw itself threads into the nut. Take your pistol grip itself using the thumb of your left hand while still holding with your index finger the pistol grip nut itself and take the pistol grip screw push it through the bottom of the pistol grip itself until you feel it catch the threads of the pistol grip nut and then just slowly thread it by hand until you feel the threads take then use your screwdriver to do the rest of the job And in that segment, we used old furniture that was kind of beat up or unfinished, so we weren't really concerned about uh, protecting it. Now, when installing your newly custom finished furniture, you're going to want to protect that uh, the finish on the wood itself initially. And the best way to protect it when you're installing it for the first time is to simply wrap the furniture itself with an old T-shirt or a, a cloth while you're installing it and that way you won't smudge the finish which should be dry for the most part and that's what you don't have to worry about when you're putting all that pressure onto the parts uh, smudging the finish or leaving uh, fingerprints or scraping it or scratching it accidentally this will help protect it while you're installing it Next we'll simply snap the gas tube back into place and then rotate the uh, locking lever of the rear sight block back down counterclockwise to lock the gas tube into place. And now we're just going to reinstall the, uh, the bolt carrier bolt by inserting the, uh, the piston into the gas tube and receiver first. And once that's in place we will reinstall the uh, recoil spring assembly and then just uh, check the function of the rifle itself by uh, pulling on the charging handle and now we'll reinstall the dust cover or the receiver cover by just simply snapping it into place on the receiver we'll go ahead and uh, check the action one final time by working the charging handle put the uh, safety on insert our magazine and we are all done i hope this has been an informative video Please email us uh, with any questions. Also visit us online at comblockcustoms.com or Facebook forward slash comblockcustoms. Thanks.